In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Word was made flesh, and lived among us, and we saw his glory. We offer our Mass this evening uh, in praise of Our Lady of Walsingham. Uh, we pray for the Anglican and the Roman Catholic shrines there. And we give thanks that the Anglican shrine reopened to pilgrims today after a year or more um, of lockdown. So that's great news. And we look forward to our parish pilgrimage there uh, in September as well. So to prepare our hearts, let us turn to God our Father asking for forgiveness recognizing that the image of the Lord is not perfect within us, asking that we may be worthy recipients of the Lord in Holy Communion this evening. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendour of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in your plan for salvation, your word became man, announced by an angel and born of the Virgin Mary. May we who believe that she is the mother of God receive the help of her prayers. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. <clears throat> Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being and he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you? Or again, I will be his father, and he will be my son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Alleluia, alleluia. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. To all who received him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. From his fullness we have all received, grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God the only Son who is close to the Father's heart who has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When the angel visited Mary and announced that she was to be the mother of God, to which, of course, as we know, she said yes, there were words spoken, conversation between the angel and Mary. In John's Gospel, he speaks of Jesus as the Word, capital W, meaning that creative force which lies at the heart of everything that is, the entire universe. And so we have this miracle of the eternal Word of God, which underpins all creation, focusing down into this one moment in history in Mary's womb. Jesus the Word, Jesus the Light. And she receives that Word, and that Word brings life into her womb. In Jesus, who obviously was born, lived, died, and rose again. So we too need to listen out for the Word of God in our own lives. God speaks to us. He shares his word, Jesus, with us. We too need, like Mary, to be attentive to the listening and to converse with God as she did. Say yes to God as she did. Father, we thank you for the word you have spoken, which is your Son, Jesus Christ. A word spoken from all eternity, from the beginning until the end. A word you still speak, his word, in our hearts, through scripture, through the sacraments, he speaks. Help us to listen, to be attentive, to hear what he is saying to us. For he speaks to us of your love for us and for all things. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you, Father, for the receptivity of Mary to your word, inviting Christ into her womb. We pray for all Christians that we may invite Christ into our lives too. We pray for all leaders of faith, for the Holy Father Francis, for our archbishops, bishops, all priests and deacons, and all who commit themselves to the religious life, and all people who are disciples. 
We pray that your church may be a witness to the word of God and not get lost in the words of men. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you, Father, for the gift of Walsingham, for the shrines there, for all who make pilgrimage there and have done down the centuries. We pray that our pilgrimage in September may be blessed, may be a time of renewal and of fun and of joy and of celebration. We pray for all who work at the shrine, for the guardians and all who hold responsibility in its maintenance and running. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We hold before you, Father, the struggles of humanity, the pain of our world, for all whose lives are marred by violence, exploitation, disadvantage, poverty, for those whose lives are drudgery, for those who have disease without cure or without treatment, that the more affluent countries may be moved to support and help and do whatever they can. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we continue to pray for those who have asked us to pray for them, knowing that Mary joins her prayers with ours in concern for the sick and for those in any kind of need. We pray for Stuart, Johnny, John, Brenda, Andrea, Fletcher, Louise, George, Edie, Stuart, John, Margaret, John, Nora, Connie, Catherine, Edna, Granville, Father Chris, Colin, Maxine, Sister Helen Julian, David and Pauline. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we ask peace and rest for all who have died, for those whose years mind occurs today, in particular, for the soul of Maurice Cowing, and all others whom we miss. And we commend the souls of all the departed to the intercession of Our Lady of Walsingham, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. May this mingle of water and wine may we share the message of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, what a 
wash me from all my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, may the power of your Spirit, which sanctified Mary, the mother of your Son, make holy the gifts we place upon this altar. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. We give you thanks and praise that the Virgin Mary heard with faith the message of the angel, and by the power of the Holy Spirit conceived and bore the word made flesh. From the warmth of her womb to the stillness of the grave, he shared our human life, and in him new light has dawned upon the world, and you have become one with us, that we might become one with you in your glorious kingdom. Therefore earth unites with heaven, to sing a new song of praise, we too join with angels and archangels as they proclaim your glory without end as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Paul, Glynn and Sarah, our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep 
in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. So we pray that we may hear the Lord's word and keep it as we pray in his words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us greet each other. Lamb of God, you take Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ, bring me to everlasting life. Amen. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary. She carried the Son of the Eternal Father. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Lord our God, may the sacraments we receive show us your forgiveness and love. May we who honour the mother of your Son be saved by his coming among us as a man, for he is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most Holy Virgin, I kneel in spirit before your shrine at Walsingham, that sanctuary blessed by your visits, favours and many miracles. I unite myself with all those who have ever sought you and seek you now in that holy place. Especially I unite my intentions with those of the priests who offer the holy sacrifice there. I offer you my life and devotion, asking you to remember that I am numbered among the pilgrims who have sought your intercession in the sanctuary of your choice. I renew the promises and intentions made when last I made the pilgrimage. Dear Mother, Our Lady of Walsingham, remember me. Dearest Mother, Mary most merciful, Mother of God, Mary so pitiful, Mother of hope, Mother most beautiful, Mother of joy, holy and wonderful, Mary hear us. Mother of Jesus, Mary our comforter, be thou, dear Virgin, our true joyfulness, and when we exiles end our weariness, grant us to share the angel's blessedness. Mary hear us. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vitae Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules filii heve, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego advocata nostra, ilos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis, Virgo Maria. Mass is ended. Go in peace.